And you saw the photograph of the top secret documents laid out on the floor at Mar-a-Lago. What did you think to yourself looking at that image? How that could possibly happen. How one, anyone could be that irresponsible. And I thought, what data was in there that may compromise sources and methods? By that, I mean names of people who helped, or et cetera. And it's just uh, totally irresponsible. Many months later. All right, we have some breaking news. Uh, President Biden's aides have reportedly found now a second batch of classified documents at a new location. That is being reported this hour by NBC News. Fox News is working to confirm that. But again, this is reportedly a second batch of classified documents at a different location from the Biden Penn Center, uh, the think tank that he formed after Vice after he was vice president. Um, so we're going to keep you updated. We're going to get some new information on that, and we will bring it to you. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I got to tell you guys, uh, this Biden classified document scandal is getting juicier and juicier and juicier by the day. As allegedly, Biden's aides have discovered a second batch of classified documents at another location. So again, as I'm making this video, um, this story is getting worse. And it's funny because the mainstream little media has come out here and bent over backwards, doing mental gymnastics, trying to explain to the American people why this is not a big deal after making a huge stink over uh, Trump and him having classified documents at Mar-a-Lago to say this is not the same. <laughs> well, Mr. Biden, he's honest. He always tells the truth, according to Joy Behar, right? There was only 10 documents, right? There was only 10 documents, and they're cooperating with FBI, unlike Trump, right? Again, uh, completely overlooking the fact that um, he mishandled classified documents, which, according to them, is a crime. He should be thrown in jail for that, right? This is what they argued uh, when they went after Trump, even though Trump is or was the president of the United States, and he actually unilaterally has the ability to uh, declassify documents, uh, it's not as straightforward when it comes to Joe Biden, who was vice president at the time, where when he mishandled the classified documents that he had, okay? We don't know if Joe Biden classified those documents himself. Uh, that is the only way that he would be able to actually declassify them, okay? Otherwise, he does not have declassification ability, so he doesn't have the built-in excuse that Trump has, which is that, well, I'm president, I can declassify whatever I want. He doesn't have that excuse. Again, the mainstream liberal media completely overlooks that because they're playing defense for the Democrats, right? And they're gonna have to continue to play defense here as, again, allegedly, a second batch of classified documents has been found in another location we're still getting some information about that, okay? Uh, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about that in this video. However, uh, what I can talk about is uh, the documents that were discovered before, right? And what allegedly is in them. Now, I was very careful not to try to speculate what was in the documents, okay? Because I don't want to be like the mainstream liberal media. I don't know. But according to CNN, the Communist News Network, uh, apparently there was intelligence, uh, related materials, uh, that had something to do with Ukraine and Iran and the United Kingdom. Uh, no surprises about Ukraine. <laughs> you know, Biden loves Ukraine because we all know how heavily invested the Biden crime family is in Ukraine. They're also heavily invested in China as well, too, allegedly, uh, as China <laughs> allegedly or Chinese money allegedly has been poured into the, uh, fake Biden think tank that just so happens to have been housing these classified documents allegedly in a locked closet, according to Sleepy Joe, okay? Um, yeah, I'm just saying, I mean, based off what we're seeing here, uh, if we're going to play the same game that the Democrats were playing, I think it's fair to speculate that Biden may or may not have been selling uh, classified information to China. That's how it's supposed to work, right? <laughs> right, this is what he said about Trump. Uh, they basically speculated that he was selling these documents to uh, Russia, Okay, so I can say the same thing about Biden, right? That, that's how it's supposed to work. So Sleepy Joe has come out here with an explanation that has been written by his handlers, in which he basically claims that he was surprised, he was surprised that the documents were discovered. <laughs> take a look. People know I take classified uh, 
documents and classified information seriously. When my lawyers were clearing out my office at the University of Pennsylvania, they set up an office for me, secure office in the Capitol, when I, the four years after being vice president, I was a professor at Penn. Uh, they found some documents in a box, you know, locked cabinet, or at least a closet. And as soon as they did, they realized there were several classified documents in that box. And they did what they should have done. They immediately called the archives, immediately called the archives, turned them over to the archives, and I was briefed about this discovery and surprised to learn that there were any government records that were taken there to that office. But I don't know what's in the documents. I've, my lawyers have not suggested I ask what documents they were. I've turned over the boxes. They've turned over the boxes to the archives, and we're cooperating fully, cooperating fully with the review, and which I hope will be finished soon, and uh, there will be more detail at that time. Yeah, so that is Beijing Biden's explanation uh, for those documents uh, being uh, discovered, okay? Again, I want to be clear here. Uh, he wasn't surprised that they were in the closet, right? He was surprised that they actually got discovered, okay? He was surprised that he got caught, right? Because uh, Democrats think they're above the law. Um, so with that being said, uh, we all know that our boy, uh, Peter Ducey, who I like to call Deuce Deuce, okay? Because he drops deuces on the Democrats uh, almost on a daily basis in the White House press room. Uh, you know he had all the smoke for Corinne Jean-Pierre, uh, when it came to uh, Biden and his own words about how he's supposed to be so careful with these documents, how he's so responsible and Trump is so irresponsible. Well, how the hell can you explain this, right? How the hell can you explain Biden being so careless and reckless with these sensitive documents, especially considering uh, all the things he said about Trump? Peter Ducey confronted the affirmative action press secretary on this. Take a look. On these documents... How could anyone be that irresponsible? It, isn't that what this president says about mishandling classified documents? The president spoke to this personally. He spoke to this personally. And he, again, he believes that uh, classified documents and information should be taken seriously. He takes them seriously. And he was surprised it's, it's to learn right. by it's any any records. Had been. I disagree. I disagree. Here's what happened. Here's what happened once. Then why his, is there a Justice Department? Well, let me, let me explain to you the process. Here's what happened when uh, his lawyers found out that the documents were there. They immediately turned them over uh, to their archives. But they were but there they the first place. Turned them, turned them they, over to the archives. The right I'm not going to. I'm not going to go into specifics. But I'm going. I, what I am reiterating to you is what you heard from the president yourself. Peter, uh, which is how he saw the process and how he respects and truly uh, uh, respects and takes this very seriously, and when he knew uh, and how surprised he was by it, and the actions that uh, the the right actions that the lawyers took. Again, this is under this is under investigate is, is under review by the Department of Justice, and we're going to let that process continue. How can President Biden be trusted moving forward with America's secrets? Because his lawyers, his team, did the right thing. But he had a closet with he, classified his information. His lawyers in did it the right. Again, again, again. Did he did. He was right surprised that the records were there. He spoke to this personally. He was surprised that the that the records were there. And when his lawyers found out and his team found out that they were there, uh, they turned it over to their archives. And now it's being reviewed by the Department of Justice. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is going to get very, very, very interesting, especially considering how allegedly this new batch of documents was discovered at another location. What is the explanation going to be there? Okay, are, are Biden going to be surprised <laughs> that they were at another location as well, too? Again, He's only surprised that he got caught. That's it. That's the only thing he's surprised about. He's not surprised they were there. He was surprised they got caught. But who knows? I mean, Joe Biden's memory isn't really all that great nowadays. So he might have actually legitimately forgot that they were there. He might have legitimately completely lost track of where the documents were. He might not have actually known. But I'm just saying, um, he's more surprised he got caught. Um, you see how Corinne Jean-Pierre um, uh, went out of her way to make sure that she didn't call it an investigation, right? It's not a just a department investigation. It's a review. Right? It's a review. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm telling you. 
uh, cringe job parents probably gonna quit this job, okay? Uh, with the way things are going for the Biden administration, uh, she got to do a whole lot of mental gymnastics in order to finesse this one. Uh, because again, the mainstream liberal media, the Democrats dug themselves in this hole when they went ape shit over the Trump Mar-a-Lago raid and how, again, they called for Trump to be locked up, right? Uh, they want his man thrown in prison. Perk walk out of Mar-a-Lago. Again, we need to get jailbird Biden trending. I need to see Joe Biden perk walk out of the White House according to the Democrats' arguments, okay, that they made about Trump because I think it's a lot worse than what they're making it out to be. And this is great news for Trump. Uh, because essentially the, the more stuff that comes out, the more, the harder it makes for the justice department to actually, uh, charge him and go after him without seeming overtly biased. But Hey, they haven't really cared about, uh, looking politically biased before, but, um, you know, when all else fails, uh, you know what the Biden administration does, <laughs> right? When they can't do mental gymnastics anymore, they just lie. Just like Corinne Jean-Pierre lied about, uh, Joe Biden's visit to the border when confronted by no other than Peter Ducey about the fact that Joe Biden did not visit the migrants that he claims that he loves so much and that he welcomed into the country. Just one more. Why didn't President Biden want to see what's really going on at the border? He did see exactly what's going on at the border. He didn't talk to any migrants and he didn't go anywhere that people actually cross illegally. Why not? But he also, but he met, uh, he went to the, mig the Migrant Center, which was a, a critical, pl critical place to be when you think about the partners uh, who, who are, uh, are partners who are helping uh, support uh, the migrants on the ground there. Uh, there happened to be no migrants at the facility at the time that he visited. But let's, but let's. Because El Paso has been crushed. The shelters are full. There are overflow migrants sleeping in the streets. And then it's just a coincidence that suddenly the president shows up and. Well, let me talk about what's going on in El Paso, right? El Paso uh, did go down significantly prior to the president's visit uh, by about 70%. And that's a good thing, Peter. That's a good thing that we, we've seen the, the numbers go down. and. That is something that uh, we should be saying, okay, that's a good job there. Uh, it has helped ease pressure all across the community, but the president visit uh, uh, had nothing to do with it. Uh, and so look, again, uh, we went to, he went to a migrant center. Uh, he went to one of the busiest port of entry, which is in El Paso. Uh, and, uh, and so the president got to see, he went to the border, he got to see for himself, talking to, we've always been very clear that we were going to, he was going to talk to the people on the ground uh, who is, who, who's working on the border. Yeah, so again, you gotta love the mental gymnastics here from um, Corinne Jean-Pierre, right? Uh, basically what she's saying is that, well, Biden went to a migrant center that just so happened <laughs> to be empty. When El Paso, like the southern border, these towns are over flooded with illegals. Okay. He just so happened to go there when none of them were there. Um, but again, <laughs> and she never addressed the actual crux of Steve, uh, uh Peter Ducey's uh, question, which is why didn't Biden go and actually talk to any migrants? He didn't see any migrants. Uh, basically he avoided, uh, interacting with migrants or basically being photographed with migrants at all costs. OK, because he know that would be a bad look uh, for the American people to see him with all of these illegals crossing the border. So he made sure he didn't get anywhere close to the people that he welcomed into the country before he became president and claimed that he loves so much. OK, if you don't love these people, if you don't want these people to come into this country illegally, we don't know who they are. Uh, then you're a bigot, right? But apparently Biden, when he had an opportunity to actually talk to these people, to hug them and to kiss them, the same way the Democrats was hugging and kissing them uh, under Trump, uh, he passed. <laughs> he said, I'm good on that, right? I'm going to go for a quick uh, couple hour turnaround visit just to say I went and that's it. I'm out. Again, it's amazing how that works. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if now uh, with the Biden uh, classified document story, uh, getting worse. Uh, they start calling you conspiracy theorists for even just acknowledging <laughs> that this story exists, right? They can say you're a conspiracy theorist <laughs> for, <laughs> for basically just saying, yeah, Biden, uh, illegally took classified documents to, uh, a private office and he should be impeached and removed from office because he can't be trusted with sensitive top intelligence information. This is the same argument they made about Trump. They're going to say you're an insurrectionist and a conspiracy theorist, right? For simply using the same arguments that they use against Trump.
It's amazing. The propaganda that comes from the Biden administration and the mainstream liberal media. It's quite entertaining. It'd be much more entertaining if it wasn't so bad for the country. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.